Mary, I have to tell you, anybody who stepped outside in the past couple of hours knows that the winds are a huge issue today. They are whipping. Now, it's not a steady wind. There are gusts from time to time, and we're here with the Mobile Weather Lab in Battery Park, and you can see, if you take a look at the instruments on top, you can see it's our anemometer that continues to spin ferociously as these winds whip, and I want to show you here the monitor in the back. We're getting two readings here for wind speed. One is just right now eight and a half miles. The other 19 miles per hour down to 16. So it's been fluctuating and as high as about 25 mile an hour wind gusts in this spot, making the 33 degree temperature feel like it's about 25 or 26 degrees. It's certainly very different feel from the way it looks. With bright sunshine and blue skies, this day looks great, but people we spoke to say it doesn't feel that way. It's a gorgeous day, but the wind is horrific. Arlene Egan is with the Downtown Alliance. She hands out information to tourists in Battery Park, but the wind is making her job very difficult today. I cannot stand up over there where I usually stand. I kind of get blown back this way or blown forward. It all depends on which way I'm standing. Park goers have similar complaints. My chest was pretty sore because it was pretty tight on the chest because it was so freezing, but yeah, the wind is just. It's a killer. Winds aren't just tough on people. Flags and street signs are flapping today. The water in New York Harbor is choppy, so much so this boat is being blown sideways. Similar scenes in Queens today near LaGuardia Airport. Boats are rocking in this marina, and airplanes are adjusting for the strong winds, too. Cameron Haloub says the cold is no problem, but the wind always makes things tricky. The wind feels very icy, and it's really uncomfortable. It feels like it just kind of cuts through to the bone almost. You you know, it's not, it actually kind of feels like it goes through you and kind of takes away your energy, I think. Now, Arlene is the woman we talked to. You'll notice she moved from her normal location. Now she's here where she's primarily seated. I don't know if that's helping her with the wind a tremendous amount. Back here in front of the mobile weather lab, I've got a handheld anemometer, so I'll be moving around with this pretty much all day today. Right now, not getting a huge reading on it. 11 mile an hour wind gusts right now, 12, 15, so 16, okay, 17. So we keep going up here, but we'll have this with us all day.